Hi friends, Prasad here for GSP Creations. Today I want to talk about the M1 Mac Mini and the USB-A port that the Mac Mini has and the trouble which I'm facing with it. As you know, the Mac Mini comes with two USB-C Thunderbolt ports and two USB-A ports. Now these two USB-A port is a 3.0 port. I'm using the Logitech M331 Silent Plus mouse and uh, this is a mouse which you connect using the USB dongle and this is not a Bluetooth mouse. So when I'm connecting the dongle to the Mac Mini, I am facing some issues in terms of lag and the mouse getting stuck. Let me show you three different setups. So the first setup here is connecting a USB 2.0 hub to the back of the Mac Mini. Now this is the most optimal setup. Now with this connection with using the 2.0 hub, the mouse seems to work fine. I don't find any issues. Now the second setup what I have is to directly connect the USB dongle to the back of the Mac mini like you see in the picture. Now this is a setup where I am having problems. Generally you should be able to connect dongles directly at the back of the uh, Mac mini and whether there are one or two both dongles should work seamlessly without an issue but in this setup though the issue is not really prominent uh, there are instances where I see the mouse lag and getting stuck for example if you see here and I move around you can see in the slow motion here I'm just moving it around without a break but if you can see the arrow kind of stopped a bit and then moved and this is very annoying when you are trying to use this on a regular basis. Now the third setup here is where I'm facing a bigger problem. Now here I'm connecting my USB 3.0 hub which is from Ugreen to the back of the Mac mini again using the USB A port and then this is where I'm seeing a lot of problem. Uh, it is kind of basically unusable. Now the reason I've reached out to Apple support to try and understand why the problem is coming in. We tested it with a couple of uh, hubs. Uh, they were not really able to crack it and they finally kind of um, wrote back to me saying that maybe you want to try and reach out to Logitech to see if there is a firmware upgrade which they can uh, provide for working seamlessly with M1. And then I reached out to Logitech and after multiple chats, they kind of came back saying all the Logitech devices works best if it is connected to a USB 2.0 port. A USB 3.0 may have issues is what their conclusion was. And again, going by what they said and also with experimenting in these three different options, the first scenario which I showed you where I'm connecting a USB 2.0 hub to my Mac mini is where I am not facing an issue. So friends, I thought I'll just highlight and talk about this issue here so that if you're having a mouse and you're planning to buy the Mac mini or you're trying to invest in a Logitech mouse, uh, be aware of this fact that if you connect your mouse to a USB 3.0 port directly to the Mac mini or using a hub, you may face issues in using the mouse seamlessly. So either you have a USB 2.0 hub, um, that is the only way to try and connect your Logitech mouses to this or buy a higher end um, Master X series where you can connect to Bluetooth directly. Keep this in mind when you're trying to invest on a Mac mini, M1 Mac mini especially. So friends, hope you found this video useful. I wanted to share this um, experience uh, with you guys as soon as possible to give it a like and uh, subscribe for more videos coming your way. This is Prasad signing off for GSP Creations. Thank you. Take care.